Good afternoon. My name is Tavia Danch, and I am the Community Outreach Manager at Colorado State University Global. I am pleased to welcome you to CSU Global's College and Career Success webinar series. During this webinar, we will be sharing information on cost savings at CSU Global and the innovative initiatives we take to keep costs down, including our low tuition rates and tuition guarantee, credit, transfer credits, ebooks and scholarships and financial aid, as well as the opportunity to answer any questions you may have. But first, I wanted to share a little about us. CSU Global was created by the Colorado State University System in 2007 as the first independent 100% online state university in the US. We have over a decade of leadership in providing quality online education for working adults. We hope you enjoy learning about the affordable and high quality degree and certification options available to you at CSU Global. I would now like to introduce you to Travis Sufel, Senior Director of Engagement, and Ryan Gradman, Director of Student Financial Services at CSU Global. With that, I'll turn the time over to Travis and Ryan. Okay, thanks, Tavia. Um, so we're gonna start off with talking about some of the questions that you should ask as a prospective student when you're considering a university and when affordability is important to you. Uh, some of those are, of course, what is the cost of tuition, but also you need to understand if that tuition cost will include fees and if there are additional fees. Uh, also important to understand the cost of books or any additional supplies and what options you have to pay for school. Uh, and then another important question is whether or not there is a difference between in-state and out-of-state tuition at the school that you're researching. Uh, I do wanna tell you a bit about CSU Global. So CSU Global has a tuition guarantee, which I will get into a little more on the next slide. But this means once you start classes with us, your tuition is locked in for as long as you remain active. We're also very proud of the fact that we have not increased our tuition in the past eight years. Uh, and this is really an important differentiator for CSU Global. Um, the reason why this matters is many universities will increase tuition on an annual basis. So we're proud to have had our tuition rate locked in for the past eight years. We do not charge any out-of-state tuition. So our students in the state of Colorado pay the same tuition rate as students all across the country and all over the world. And we have no student fees. So because we are 100% online, we are able to minimize the number of fees that students pay. Um, the only additional cost that you would incur outside of your tuition are for your books or materials related course materials. Uh, another thing that really helps with tuition costs at CSU Global is that we are very transfer credit friendly. So credit that you've already earned, you won't need to repeat at CSU Global, which will help lower the cost of your tuition overall. Uh, so again, that tuition guarantee, only 15% of universities across the US have a tuition guarantee like CSU Global offers, which means that as long as you remain an active student, your tuition stays the same. So even if we were to increase tuition in the future, your tuition would not increase once you get started with classes. Um, all you need to do is apply and register for courses and then your tuition stays the same as long as you are um, staying active in your courses. And that's true regardless of how you intend to pay for your tuition. Uh, CSU Global is also proud to offer very affordable tuition rates. So our tuition is $350 for undergraduates and $500 for graduates per credit hour. Most of your courses will be three credit hours. So that means $1,050 at the undergraduate level and $1,500 at the graduate level for tuition. And 
uh, when you're looking at the overall cost of the program, for most of our graduate programs, that means the total tuition cost will be $18,000. And for undergraduate students, your total tuition cost depends on how many transfer credits you bring in. So we do allow up to 90 transfer credits into the bachelor's program. And if you're able to transfer that many credits, then you'd be able to complete the program at just $10,500. But everyone's cost at the undergraduate level is slightly different depending on how many transfer credits you do bring in. We also have listed on this slide the annual tuition for both undergrad and grad. And those are based on taking 24 credits at the undergraduate level and 18 credits each year at the graduate level. Um, although undergraduate students can take more than those 24 in a year if you're really motivated and wanting to get through more quickly. Uh, I want to just highlight how low those rates really are in comparison to what you'll see from other universities and what is standard. So on average in the US, the cost for an undergraduate credit is $509 in comparison to our 350 rate. So that's a 30% savings for our students. And the average for graduate tuition is $564. So we are 11% lower in graduate tuition rate. Uh, we also look at the full-time comparison. So for undergraduate students attending full-time, you're gonna spend about $5,000 less every year than you would at the national average. And same is true at the graduate level, about $3,000 less for tuition. Uh, now beyond just saving money with low cost tuition, there are a lot of other innovative ways that CSU Global can help you reduce the cost of your bachelor's or graduate degree program. So I'm gonna talk about a few of these alternative credit options. Uh, in addition to being transfer credit friendly, we work with many alternative credit providers. Uh, I'm gonna talk about two of our internal options but before I do, I want to mention we partner with a lot of organizations like Straighter Line, Sailor, Sophia, OnlineDegree.com, Study.com, and Modern States. And these providers allow students to earn credit either on a subscription model where you're paying a, a monthly cost to take credits and test out of courses, or in some cases at no cost and those credits can be transferred back into CSU Global. Uh, so if you're interested in any of these alternative credit options that I am going to discuss, certainly your enrollment counselor can go more in depth on these or your student success counselor. So either member of your academic support team can help you navigate these alternative credit options to help reduce the total cost of your degree program. A couple of the alternative credit options that CSU Global offers internally are the self-study assessment or the prior learning assessment. Uh, and with either of these options, you're able to demonstrate competency, your knowledge, uh, use your prior experience, and learn independently in order to earn credit. And these options are lower than the cost of a course at CSU Global. Um, so for the self-study assessment, here you are learning on your own, going through the course material in a particular module. And once you're completed at the end of 16 weeks, you can take a proficiency exam to earn credit for a course. Uh, and you're gonna save 70% on your tuition cost by going that route. So remember we said a undergraduate course is $1,050. Uh, the self-study assessment is only $250 for a three credit course. 
there is also an option for prior learning assessment. This is when you've already got knowledge in a particular area, maybe because of your previous learning that you've done or because of your career or work experience. In this case, you can save 75% on the cost of a full course. Uh, and here you do need to apply to take prior learning assessment, but if you're approved, you can submit a portfolio assignment uh, that demonstrates your mastery of the topic, of the learning outcomes in a particular course, and uh, your professional resume as well. And that option costs $150 for the review of that assessment. Again, that's in comparison to $1,050 to pay for the full course. So there are a couple of options that can really save you time and money when completing your credits. Um, we also allow students to transfer up to 64 credits from a community college or two-year college. So folks who have completed an associate's degree can transfer those credits toward your bachelor's degree, and in that case, you're already halfway there. Uh, we also work to save our students money by keeping the cost of our course materials low. So when possible, we will have an ebook option in our courses and the ebook helps us keep the cost of those course materials below $150 for each course. Uh, currently we have over 200 courses at CSU Global that are utilizing an ebook. And just to give you an example, uh, this is saving across the university, all of our students, an average of $4 million by having lower cost book options. Uh, for a student who would be in our Bachelor's of Science in Criminal Justice, they're gonna save about $920 over the course of that degree program by being able to utilize eBooks rather than having hard copy books, which tend to be more expensive. Uh, we also utilize something called Open Educational Resources, or OER for short. Uh, these are credible sources that can be accessed without any licensing fees to CSU Global and our students. So again, there will be some courses that you take where there is no cost for the resources to you because we're able to leverage OER or other um, no cost options. And then the final way that we work to save students money is through tuition discounts. So our military affiliated students receive a 10% tuition discount. Uh, that goes for any active duty military or veteran. We also have tuition discounts for corporate partners. So we have over 3,000 corporate partners now, and if you are an employee of one of our corporate partners, you're eligible for a 10% tuition discount. And we also partner with over 100 community colleges to offer an affiliate discount for graduates of those community colleges as well. So in that case, if you are one of our community college partners, if your, your community college, rather, is one of our partners, you'll be able to receive that discount um, if you start classes with us within three years after having completed your coursework uh, at that community college. So we'll certainly have some time for questions at the end if anybody has more specific questions about our tuition rates or saving money or any of these alternative credit options. I'm going to turn it over now to Ryan to talk about some of the specifics of how students pay tuition here. Thanks, Travis. So uh, as a fully accredited university, uh, we have many different finance options that students are able to use to help fund the cost of their education. Um, the primary fund source for a lot of our students is actually federal financial aid, which you can complete very easily uh, the, the method of doing that is by completing the free application for federal student aid, or the FAFSA. 
uh, it's you know it's a very short application uh, that can be completed generally in a single day. Uh, the FAFSA then um, requires additional documentation that you may be required to provide, uh, but once completed, the students who complete the FAFSA are eligible to uh, receive Pell Grants, which is funding that does not need to be repaid back to the federal government, uh, in addition to subsidized and unsubsidized loans, as well as parent and graduate plus loans. Uh, subsidized loans are loans where the federal government actually pays the cost of the uh, interest for the student while they're in school. Um, so that's a, another benefit of using federal uh, funding is that it reduces the overall cost when you have to repay if you do choose to use any student loans. Uh, additionally, and uh, also of interest to all students, are scholarships. So we offer a wide array of scholarships. We have Scholarship Universe, which is a, a program that we've started using, which allows students uh, a single platform to apply for thousands of scholarships, both our internal scholarships and scholarships from a wide array of different scholarship agencies all over the country, all over the world. Uh, so Scholarship Universe uh, is uh, a single application. You put in your, your information, you answer some questions, and then it goes through and matches your information to all of those scholarships. And it'll show you a running total at the top, showing how many scholarships and actually how much money is available to you. And then once you've completed those questions, you can choose the individual scholarships and apply for them through that, that scholarship portal. Uh, so go to the next one. We also, uh, have the ability for students to use employer reimbursement. So employer reimbursement is a benefit that your company will pay on your behalf. They can either pay it directly to us or you can pay the cost up front and the company will reimburse you uh, through employer reimbursement. The uh, employers generally have different stipulations that you would have to check with your individual employer, but we have uh, partnerships with several thousand employers uh, that actually allow for not only um, the reimbursement, but as Travis alluded to earlier, we also uh, do have affiliate relationships with a lot of those employers as well. Uh, the employer reimbursement program is obviously dependent upon each individual employer's requirements. So uh, speak to your HR department as to what those requirements may be, and also know that employer reimbursement is taxable income up to a certain point. So once again, uh, your HR department can specify what those the taxable requirements are. Um, but employer reimbursement is an option. And then lastly, uh, you can pay on your own. So we actually do offer a few different options if you choose not to use a federal financial aid or employer reimbursement. Um, we do have a flexible method of paying your tuition that you can qualify for where you would pay 50% of your tuition at the beginning of your course and then you'd have 30 days into the term to pay the other half so that you can spread out your payments for each term. Um, and then if your financial situation does change, we have a wide array of different payment plan options to help uh, cover some of the costs of your uh, tuition as well. Uh, and in addition, it's not mentioned in here, but we also do uh, accept military benefits, uh, your veterans assistance benefits, tuition assistance benefits, uh, federal and student state tuition assistance as well. So uh, we accept basically any form of financial assistance that you have, we are able to use to help pay the cost of your tuition. So, uh, and as Travis mentioned, we can take questions related to anything finance related uh, at the end of this as well. So feel free to put questions down in the QA section and we'll be happy to answer them as soon as we finish this presentation. Thank you. And, and I do just wanna highlight one thing that Ryan said that is a real advantage at CSU Global. Uh, for students who are using employer reimbursement, we have that 30 day deferment and that is not the case at every university. So. Some students at other universities may have to come up with the cost of their tuition payment up front and then reimburse themselves from their employer. One of the great benefits of CSU Global is that we have that 30 day deferment. So you are not responsible for paying for that course or your employer is not responsible for paying until 30 days after your grade posts. Uh, which is a really great benefit for those employer reimbursement students. Thank you so much, Ryan and Travis, for the wonderful insights. I would now like to open the floor up for our question and answer portion. Um, so as a reminder, to submit a question, please click on the Q&A button at the bottom of your Zoom screen and type in your question. 
So let's start with the first question. Is the GRE required for students interested in a graduate program? We do not require the GRE. No. So students will only need to supply their official transcripts. And depending on your GPA, you may be required and which program you're in, you may be required to submit a statement, um, take a short assessment and send a resume. But for most students, just your official transcripts from the bachelors is required. Wonderful. Thank you. Next question. Is TOEFL required for international students to be admitted at CSU Global? We do have a, a requirement for the TOEFL if your degree was not taught in English, um, but there are a number of ways folks can satisfy that English language requirement. So we do have the opportunity to apply for a waiver for the TOEFL uh, if you can demonstrate proficiency in written English. Wonderful, thank you. Where can I find the scholarships that are available through CSU Global if I'm not a student yet? Can I access Scholarship Universe without being a student? Uh, so no, you are not able to actually access Scholarship Universe. It's a benefit only for students who have actually applied to the university. Um, you can find all of these scholarships on the internet independently. They're not, uh, you know, private to CSU Global. It's not specifically our information, uh, but you would have to go find them all individually, all 4,000 scholarships that are available in there. So uh, one of the benefits of uh, CSU Global application is the access to the Scholarship Universe site to then view all of those scholarships. There are those scholarships that you can view on the CSU Global website. So the scholarships that are offered by our university, uh, you can read about on our website. Great. Um, so in order to use Scholarship Universe, um, you have to be a student, which is more of a reason to apply today. <laughs> Next question. Would Udicity nano degrees be acceptable options to meet prereqs for some graduate programs? We have not reviewed those credentials in particular. Um, there are a few ways that we can accomplish that. So, and I'm not really familiar uh, with, I think it's Udacity. Um, uh, so there are two services, one is called ACE and one is called NCCRS and both of those companies will provide credit recommendations for universities. So if the Udacity nano degrees are um, reviewed by either of those agencies, then we may be able to accept them for transfer credit. Uh, we can also complete those reviews internally in some cases. Um, and we would just then need to know more information about the instructor, the learning outcomes, and how those outcomes are assessed, and also how much time it takes, how many hours of instruction go into each of those degrees. Great, thank you. Next question, is there a tuition discount for students who complete a bachelor's degree at CSU Global and want to come back for their master's? Yes, there is. Uh, so we actually do have a graduate upgrade discount. Uh, it is a 10% discount off of the tuition for a graduate level student. Travis may be, be able to provide more information, but yes, we do provide that benefit to students who decide to come back for another program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and. Um, Another great benefit is we offer undergraduate and graduate certificate programs, some of which do qualify for financial aid. So you could do a certificate program and gain knowledge in a specific area quickly and then take that certificate to transfer into your bachelor's or master's degree and you would actually have that 10% discount going into the next degree because the certificate um, constitutes you as an alumni for that discount. Wonderful. 
Does FAFSA only need to be completed once or every year? Uh, the FAFSA is an annual application. Uh, generally, a lot of the information is saved. So once you've completed it the first time, it gets a lot easier in future years. But it does need to be completed for each year starting in October. So October 1st of each year, the new application uh, opens up for the future year. Um, and yeah, once you've completed it once, all of your personal information is in there. And then you just generally can transfer tax information directly from the IRS to make it a lot easier as well. Wonderful. Thank you. How do I know if my employer is an affiliate of CSU Global? Uh, on our website, if you go to the cost area and tuition discounts and then employer partners, you can search for your employer's name there. Uh, you can also speak to one of our enrollment counselors and they'll be able to tell you if your employer is on the list. Wonderful. How much does it cost to complete the application for CSU Global? And are there any deadlines? Uh, we do have a $25 application fee and we waive that fee pretty regularly. Uh, so you can apply for an application code on our website, or if you speak to one of our enrollment counselors, they're able to help you waive that fee. Uh, we have 12 start dates a year. So classes start every month. So there is a deadline each month. Um, however, because you can start at any time, whenever you submit your application, you can work with en your enrollment counselor to determine the best start date for you. Wonderful. What is the process for transferring credit? Uh, so we have uh, a, an evaluation team and once we receive your official transcripts, an official transcript means the, your other university sends those directly to our university. Uh, our evaluation team will review that transcript and determine which courses transfer. Uh, a, a course might transfer as a general education requirement. So for example, if you already took uh, English composition, then that might transfer directly for that general education gen ed here. Uh, your courses may transfer as an elective. So each of the programs has different amounts of electives. So most courses can be transferred as an elective if they don't have a direct equivalency, uh, or they may transfer as a degree completion requirement. So if you're in the marketing program and you've already taken introduction to marketing, that class might transfer directly towards your bachelor's degree completion requirement there. We can also do an estimate with an unofficial transcript. So if you have transcripts saved on your computer or on paper copy at home, you can provide those unofficial transcripts to us and we're able to review them and give you a general estimate. It won't be course to course, but we might be able to tell you that you'll have 70 classes transferred towards your bachelor's. Wonderful, thank you. How many credits can be transferred toward a graduate degree? Ah, great question. Nine credits for the master's degree. And what about the undergrad? 90 for right. undergrad. Wonderful. And our last question of the day, uh, can tuition assistance be used on certificate programs? Uh, it can, depending upon your employer's requirements. So tuition assistance from your employer uh, is obviously dictated by each individual employer, but as a role with the university, if your employer allows it, then we can accept it for the programs here as well. Wonderful. Well, a big thank you to Travis and Ryan for your time and the information you provided to us today. On behalf of everyone at Colorado State University Global, thank you and have a great rest of the day and the weekend.